Christ. Are you ready to receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? If they said yes. So, confess with their mouth that I believe in Jesus Christ. He died for us for the forgiveness of our sin. After three days, He resurrected. And He is now alive forevermore. And I declare, I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is now my Lord and Savior. And that's the time. Baptize them. I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. And Jesus Christ will baptize your relatives with the Holy Spirit. That's the whole story of discipleship, how we serve the Lord. We need to become a children of God first before we can proclaim the Word of God. It says here, finally, in... Uh, Second uh, Timothy 2.15 Study or do your best to show thyself approved unto God. A workman need not to be ashamed rightly dividing the word of truth and we could say thank you Father in Jesus name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. God, what a wonderful Bible study. Amen. Hallelujah. We are all obliged to preach the Word of God, whether inside our house, mm. wh wherever we are, amen? amen, in our lives, the way we speak, hallelujah, amen. amen. Today we're going to have our praise and worship. We can stand, uh, we can clap our hands and rejoice in the Lord. You know why? Because now we are now the children of God. Anyone who is in Christ is now a child of God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's sing. God is in the house. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's put our hands together. We worship you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God.
do anything, Lord. Truly, Lord God, that in your presence there's fullness of joy, Lord. And we rejoice in you, God. We rejoice in you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We worship you, God.
your name. Hallelujah. We worship you, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. And all the glory and all the honor belongs to you alone. And every church will say, Amen and Amen. Praise God. We can sing now, brothers and sisters. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now we're going to our tithes and offering. Praise God. Hallelujah. Let's open our Bible in Genesis chapter 14. Praise God. Verses 19 to 20. Amen. I'm going to read it on New King James Version. It says here, hallelujah, Genesis 14 verses 19. And he blessed him and said, Blessed be Abraham, Abraham of God most high, possessor of heaven and earth. Amen. Verse 20, And blessed be God most high, who has delivered your enemies into your hand. And he gave him a tithe of all. Hallelujah. Now let's uh, proceed reading verse 21 to 23. Now the king of Sodom said to Abram, Give me the persons and take the goods for yourself. Verse 22. But Abram said to the king of Sodom, I have raised my hand to the Lord God Amen. Most High, the possessor of heaven and earth, that I will take nothing from a thread to a sandal strap, and that I will not take anything that is yours, lest you should say, I have made Abram rich. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. The background of this uh, Bible verses that we read is that Abram saved his brother Lot. Because Lot was um, uh, captive by uh, the king. Amen. And then, not only that, they took all the possessions of Lot. Amen? Amen. But Abram, guess what? God, do you believe that Abram was, was a pastor? Yes, he was. Amen. He was called by God, by our living God from Or, right? Amen. He's a pastor, and yet he's also wise. God has blessed him. God has enlarged his property, and by God gave him wisdom. He Amen. trained uh, his servants, 318 servants. If you have 318 servants to train like a soldier, Amen. right? You need a lot of possessions to maintain them. Am, Amen. am I right? Hallelujah. So Abram took his brother, was able to take his brother, and the king of uh, King Melchizedek of Salem or Jerusalem bless him in verse 19. Amen. That's why it's important our mouth need to release blessing. Amen. Amen. We should not be jealous of somebody else's success. We have to release blessing. Amen. Even the blessing, even that it's so hard for us to see it, but because we live by faith and not by sight, we release blessing. In Amen. verse 19, King Mel Melchizedek said, Blessed. Amen. So he blessed Abraham and then he gave back the glory to God in Amen. verse 19. Amen. Now in verses 20 to 22 to 23, pretty much God is saying here that never forget to give thanks to God. Especially with our praises, with our worship, just like what we did before. Amen. With our praise and worship and also with our tithes and offering. Amen. Hallelujah. Why? The reason we give tithes and offering is that to we recognize and we acknowledge that God is the source of everything. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Let's pray for our tithes Hallelujah. and offering. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Lord, we come into your we come into your presence, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for your goodness, oh God. Amen. Thank you, Lord, that you have given us, Lord, to to another life, Lord God, to be here with Amen. in this place, Lord God, and gathered in your name, and and Lord, to lift your name on high, Lord God. Amen. Lord, we lift you up this tithes and Hallelujah. offering. Hallelujah. Let it be a sweet aroma at your sight, Lord. Lord. Let it be, Lord God. This will will you will be used for the furtherance of your kingdom, Amen. oh God. Amen. And Lord, we pray for those people who are not able to give. Lord, bless them financially. Amen. Increase them, oh God, Amen. so that next time, Lord God, they can worship you through yes, giving, oh Lord. God. Thank you, Lord, for this wonderful service today. Amen. Truly, you are in our midst, Lord. Amen. And we give you praise, glory, and honor in Jesus' name. Amen, amen. and amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. May I call our assistant pastor of All for Jesus Church to give us our message. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Good morning, everybody. Good morning.
We welcome our uh, our neighbor. Our neighbor Amen. Hallelujah. Who is, uh, the first time God bless. she attend uh, fellowship Amen. with us. Amen. Hallelujah. And I would like to greet all those people. You are there. Thank you for Outside. watching All for Jesus Amen. Church. Hallelujah. We welcome you everybody. Amen. In YouTube, Messenger and Facebook. Amen. Hallelujah. I know that you are you are blessed. Amen. Jesus Thank you. Sa, thank you for the Lord that you have read my sharing to you Amen. last Friday. Hallelujah. And I praise God that uh, almost everybody, almost everybody agree to what I wrote to you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So I praise the Lord. Today, let's go. Let's open our Bible in uh, Mark 11, verse 20. Mark 11, verse 20 to 25. It says here, In the morning, as they went along, they saw a fig tree weathered from roots. <laughs> Peter remembered and said to Jesus, Rabbi, look, the fig tree you curse has weathered. In verse 22, Have faith in God, Jesus answered, in 23, I tell you the truth. If anyone says to this mountain, Go, throw yourself into the sea, and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that what he says will happen, it will be done for him. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. In 24, therefore, I tell you, whatever you ask in for in prayer, believe that you have received it, and it will be yours. Thank you, Jesus. And 25, and when you stand praying, if you hold anything against anyone, yes, Lord. forgive him, yes. so that your Father in heaven may forgive you your sins. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Father in heaven, in the name of Jesus, we thank come you, to Jesus. you today, Lord. Hallelujah. This is the day that you have made. Amen. We thank you, Father, for all the blessings that you have given to us Amen. for the whole week. Hallelujah. We thank you for your protection, your guidance, yes, and all the, uh, for, and all the uh, mercies Amen. that you have given to us. Yes, we thank you, Lord, and we are lifting up your holy word. Yes, Lord. That good everybody will understand, pour out your Holy Spirit Amen. within us. Amen. And all those who listen worldwide. Hallelujah. We thank you, Father, for this day. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise Here we read in um, Mark 11, verse 20. In the morning, as they went along, they saw the fig tree weathered from the roots. This fig tree, it was completely weathered. Amen. Amen. From the bottom, underneath the soil, Amen. to the tip, of the tree. Amen. Amen. It means because it means it become useless. Amen. Amen. It's already dried up. No fruits. Because Jesus was hungry. In the next page of your Bible, 